So for the past few years, I've made a vlog of my skiing holidays I've been on, and this year is no exception. I like to make these as it's fun for me to like rewatch them and then remember the holiday, but hopefully you guys like them too. This was our biggest group yet with 14 of us going, some for the first time and some returning. But hey, let's start at the beginning. Taken Mary, come here, come to where she's staying for a week. It's a lovely place, she loves it there, but we got to say goodbye. Lizzie was very upset when saying goodbye to you, Mary. But you don't care, do you? You're just excited to be able to go hang out with some other dogs and stuff. We're going to say goodbye to Mary now. But that also means the skiing holiday is beginning. You would love it skiing, Mary. It's a shame you're a dog. You don't know how to ski. Arrived at 10 or 1. It is like 4.30 in the morning. I'm currently waiting for someone to come pick up my car. Blooming cold. Look how tired I look. Now for a long journey. Scott's got his window seat. Have fun. Nice, nice window. So after a very early flight, we landed in Geneva and set off to our chalet where we were staying. All of us were staying in the same chalet and we all just tried to stay awake as we'd all been up since 2 a.m. But the next morning, we were all prepared to hit the slopes. Steph, first day of skiing, Lizzie, first day of skiing. Are you excited? Again. Oh, how did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> Scott's been not for 10 years. You're gonna enjoy it, Scott? I'm gonna remember everything. We're gonna film them when he puts some skis on, hopefully he falls over, and then the beginners, they're off. So we had three beginner skiers. We had Lizzie's sister Maddie and her boyfriend John, and we also had Che. Plus Lizzie and Steph had only been once before last year, and Scott hadn't been in 10 years. Go on, Steph. Off you go. You remember how to do it. Yeah, she's doing it. Woo, she's screaming. All right, Scott, off you go. Hey guys! So we spent most of day one just remembering how to ski, which was a bit easier for some than others. Don't go there! You did that with much more control than I did. I'm As Scott hadn't been in so long, I was constantly filming him, hoping he would fall over. But he kept falling over when I wasn't filming. What happened, Scott? As I turned, I like... When I like turn this view it like that, but that one went like that, so there's no pop. Ha! <laughs> you okay there, Lizzie? I'm good. You good? Can you I good? do my trick? Yeah, go, do your trick. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Do the other way, do the other way. If you go, you cr do the crouch thing. Oh. Nice little sit down. Oh, look at that core strength. These lazy guys being lazy sitting on the snow. <laughs> Pathetic. After getting bored of skiing forwards, Lizzie liked to practice going backwards, which is a lot harder than it looks. Hey, look at you, Miss Confident. <laughs> also, one thing we find really fun is breaking really hard at the last second and trying to spray people with snow, which you'll see a lot of through this video. Please don't hit me. Oh! No. Oh, Lizzie! Steph! Fall over, Scott. Come on, fall over, fall over. He's gonna fall over. Is he gonna fall over? Is he gonna fall over? He's out of control. Yeah! On video! Last year, Lizzie and Steph fell on this run right here. That's why I decided to film Scott who has also fallen. And I laughed because that's the sort of person I am. But he's fine, look at him, he's just a bit embarrassed. At the end of the day, we'd always meet up with the beginner skiers to see how they're getting on. But they were doing some very easy slopes and Lizzie would get a bit bored and attempt her backwards skiing again. <gasps> Lizzie, careful! Oh, oh gosh! Despite falling off the side of the slope, Lizzie was determined to practice her backward skiing. And she got pretty good. Especially when you compare it to this clip from last year. Loving show offs. <laughs> hey. Easy. <laughs> okay, cut. Maybe slow down a bit. Look at the dog. Oh my god. Mary would love it here. Yeah, look at that. Absolute floof, man. Absolute Go. It does look like a fairy pig. 
There's a lot of fun runs, which are basically meant for kids in the resort we were skiing in as well. <laughs> Including one to promote Frozen 2, which was quite honestly terrible. Wow, look, there's Anna. Whoa, that's Elsa! Olaf as well! How cool was that, guys? That was, that was so really fun. cool. Really fun, right? <laughs> Ski day free. Look at this view. Look at this view. Wow, what a cute view. What an ugly view. Look at that view. Hello. No one wants to see that. So luckily by day three, the beginners were actually able to come down some normal slopes, which meant we could actually do some fun stuff with them in the afternoon. Oh my God, is that my name to check? Actually. <laughs> Still struggling to get a good shot of me spraying people with snow though. <laughs> However, on day four, I had a bit of a disaster. So I've just had a bit of an action packed day. It's the fourth day today of skiing. And I went up to the top of a chairlift and I checked my pocket for my phone and realized it wasn't there. This phone right here, which I literally got three weeks ago. Three weeks I've had this phone, it's brand new, and I'd lost it halfway up a mountain. So obviously I panicked, skied back down and tried to find it, but I couldn't. So here's a map of our ski area. I realized I'd lost my phone at this circle here, and I lost my phone down here somewhere. So I skied all the way back down by myself, to hear, asked around some people at the bottom of the lift stations if they'd seen it and they hadn't. So defeated, went back up the same lift up to here where Lizzie was waiting, who, while I was down here, was looking on her find friends. She found out that my phone was in this random area. So we asked a couple of people who work on the mountain if they knew where it was from the satellite picture. And luckily they managed to point it out that it was up here at this circle and it was getting to the end of the day so lift shut around 20 past four and this was around quarters to four so we had 35 minutes to find my phone so me my dad and my cousin skied all the way down here up a lift here down here and then up this massive lift here to the top of here where luckily someone had handed in my phone so i was very relieved and overjoyed that it was here but then we had to get back to here as we're staying over here and we didn't have much time so we sped down here and here we got up this lift and then we could easily get back down to our resort definitely the most stressful time i've had skiing and i will say this now don't leave your pockets open because your phone will fall out and you'll almost cry one evening my mum posted this photo on her instagram and we all thought it'd be quite funny if we sort of promoted this to see how many likes it would get notifications started flooding in and the photo ended up getting over 17,000 likes. What are you going to do, big boy? So we got this app on our phones and I'll put this picture on the screen now and it gives you all these little details about how fast you're going, how far you've skied, stuff like that. That's Ollie right there. Uh, and Lizzie said, if Joel goes over 50 miles per hour, either she's gonna divorce me <laughs> or uh, I have to buy her a new phone. And what speed did I just go, Lizzie? Whilst following you. Over 50? Yeah, 51. So I'm getting a new phone. So I've got to buy Lizzie yeah. a new phone, unfortunately. Sad times. Side note, later on I actually managed to get to 62, which was too fast, to be honest with you. On the final day, we all decided to do something a little bit special. We've all got our glitter on today. Literally got, every single person has got glitter on their face. <laughs> and with the glitter on our face, we did some tobogganing. Is everyone ready? <laughs> Wait, he's off! <laughs> oh, do this! Unfortunately, I got snow on the lens, so my best few wipeouts are a bit hard to see, but you can basically see what happens. No! Oh my god! 
Yes, that's right. I ended up in a tree somehow. I took out about five railings and got stuck in here for about two minutes. <laughs> oh, we're out. I took out the fence so bad. Well. <laughs> I did manage to capture, though, possibly my favourite wipeout sequence where so many of us fell over. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Oh. One sec, my thing's blocking the tunnel. But honestly, this is by far my favourite part of the trip. There were multiple occasions where we were just crying with laughter. Also, check out Lizzie's smooth finish here. Very smooth. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> and there you have it, that's the end of the trip. We came home to find Lizzie's fish had had babies, which was new, and then we picked up Mary, who was very excited to see us. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this ski vlog. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you another time for another video. Goodbye.